after it is done, you want to cook this al dente, uh, which means um, not overdone. You don't want no mush. No mush, 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 mush. Put in a colander. Shake it. All that steam coming up here. Never wash your pasta. You know, you're so busy cooking in that nice salt water. One thing you do when you wash that pasta is rinsing all that flavor off. <laughs> Never do that. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plate it. You just plate it kind of quick. Make sure you turn off your stove. I like using a nice white plate for the presentation. Beautiful white plate. Grab your pasta holder. So we don't have one. Yes, we do. We got someone up in here. Take this. Add some nice pasta here to your table, to your plate. There we go. Nice plate right here. Nice, still nice and steamy hot. That's what you want. Nice and steamy hot. And then you take your uh, nice sauce here. Let me just, hey, I got to demonstrate this sauce. This sauce here, you see that? Just take a little bit of the top right there. It's a nice clean spoon. You take that. Let me taste it. Oh my gosh. Mmm. You just, ah, oh, the earthiness of the mushrooms are coming through. Nice hint of salt. The nice meat coming through. Just, oh, the garlic. I got a little piece of garlic. Let me tell you. <laughs> oh, you can even have a little hint of that Worcestershire. <sighs> if I cannot tell you more than that, you got to try this sauce. I know it's easy to just, you know, go with the bottle. But, you know, just uh, treat yourself. Treat yourself to something nice every once in a while. All right, so next thing you do is just put the sauce up on here. Oh, yeah. Get just a nice helping of that. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Oh, yes. You know, I got to try this uh, meat sauce a little more. I got to try it a little more. I've just been, I don't know, just been. Meatballs are nice. They're a lot of work. If you really want to treat yourself, you do that. And then uh, I like to do this a little special. You always get you some nice Parmesan, nice Parmesan cheese. I know this isn't the nice stuff. Put a little bit of that on there. Woo! Woo! Now you can add that on with your sauce too. And then uh, I also got to let me in. Uh, not bad. Always gonna get a little mozzarella on there too. You know, you don't have to, but you know what? Just live it up. Just live it up. Live it up. It's just gorgeous, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then you wanna finish it with some parsley, which I'm sure we don't have any. This would be parsley, parsley, parsley. Should have that out. A nice little basil leaf would do nice too. A nice basil leaf. And then, this is totally optional, but I like some red pepper flakes. Oh, just mm. put that a little bit on there. And there you have it, guys. Turn this around here. Can you see that? That is just gorgeous, isn't it? Have a nice little uh, glass there. And uh, there you have it. Uh, probably one of the best sauces I've ever made. Oh, I forgot this too. That's a little, this little garnish right here. Again, a lot of y'all might not like this, but I just gotta add two of those on there. There you go. All right. Bon appetit. Have a good one. Wind is not too bad outside still. Just messing around. No need to go crazy here, but it was fun. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. Woo!